Hello children, welcome to Marvelous Pants. I am Sunil. In this lesson, we continue to learn about numbers 0 to 100. I would like to start by telling you about my family. I have two brothers and a sister. So we are four children in our family. My brother Mark is the oldest. After him is my sister, Alice. Then there's me. And finally, our youngest brother, Daniel. Since my eldest brother Mark is number one among the children, he is the first child for my parents. My sister Alice, who is number two, is the second child. I'm number three, so I'm the third child. And my younger brother Daniel, who is number four in the family, is the fourth child. I'm sure you know if you are the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth child in your family. If child number five is fifth, then someone who is number six in their family would be sixth. The one who is number seven would be seventh. Number eight would be eighth. The one who is number nine would be ninth. And number ten would be tenth. Here are 10 prizes for a party. They will be given away as prizes for some games. I would like you to help me arrange them in this box. I have numbered them from 1 to 10. This is prize number 1. This is the first prize. This is prize number 2. So, it's the second prize. Now, number 3, which is the third prize. Number 4, that's the fourth prize. Now, prize number 5, which is the fifth prize. Number 6, the sixth prize. Followed by number 7, which is the seventh prize. Next is prize number 8, the 8th prize. Then prize number 9, the ninth prize. And finally, prize number 10, the 10th prize. First, second, third, fourth, fifth and so on are called ordinal numbers. Let's try and spell the 10 ordinal numbers we learned just now. Number 1 is first F I R S T first Number 2 is Second, S E C O N D. Second. Number three is third, T H I R D. Third. Number four is fourth, F O U R T H. Fourth. Number five is fifth. F I F T H. Fifth. Number six is sixth. S I X T H. Sixth. Number seven is seventh S E V E N 
T H seventh number eight is eighth E I G H T H eighth number nine is ninth N I N T H ninth And number ten is tenth. T e n t h tenth. Here are a set of numbers and a set of boxes. I would like you to help me put the numbers into the boxes according to ordinal numbers. Let's start by putting fifty-three into the second box on your left. From your left, the second box will be box number two. That's one, two. So we put fifty-three into the second box from your left. Next, let's put ninety into the first box from your right. The first box is. Box number one, so we put ninety into this box. Now we put one hundred in the sixth box from your left. We know sixth means number six, so we count from your left: one, two, three, four, five, six. We put one hundred here. Let's put fourteen. Into the third box from your right. Third is three. From your right, one, two, three. Fourteen goes onto the third box from your right. Next, we'll put thirty-three in the seventh box from your right. Seventh is box number seven. From your right, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's the last box. We'll put thirty-three here. Sixty-five must go in to the fourth box from your left, and the last number twenty-one should go into the last empty box here. From your left, this would be the one, two. Three, third box. Let's look again at the numbers we had put into the boxes just now. If fifty-three is in the second box from your left, then from your right, in which box would fifty-three be in? From your right, fifty-three would be in box number. One, two, three, four, five, six. So fifty-three is the sixth box from your right. Now, ninety is in the first box from your right. So from your left, ninety would be in box number one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, ninety is in the seventh box from your left. One hundred is in the sixth box from your left. From your right, one hundred is in box number one, two. One hundred is in the second box from your right. Fourteen is in the third box from your right. From your left. Fourteen is in box number one, two, three, four, five. So fourteen is in the fifth box from your left. Next, thirty-three is in the seventh box from your right. From your left, thirty-three is in the first box. That was easy, wasn't it? Six. 
65 is in the fourth box from your left. From your right, 65 is in box number 1, 2, 3, 4. Also in the fourth box. 21 is in the third box from your left. From your right, it is in box number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 21 is in the fifth box from your right. Look at the diagram. A. Name the third animal from your right. The third animal from your right is the bird. B. Name the first animal from your left. The first animal from your left is the Frog. Look at the diagram. A. What is the first number from your right? The first number from your right is zero. B. Name the second number from your left. B. The second number from your left is 23. C. What is the sixth number from your right? The sixth number from your right is 56. D. What is the third number from your right? The third number from your right is 16. Look at the diagram. A. 77 is the what number from your left? 77 is the fourth number from your left. B. 45 is the what number from your left? 45 is the third number from your left. C. 69 is the what number from your right? 69 is the first number from your right. Look at the diagram. A. What is the answer when we add 2 to the second number from your left? The second number from your left is 15. When we add 2 to 15, we get 17. B. What do we get when we add 1 to the first number from your right? The first number from your right is 60. When we add 1 to 60, we get 61. Farida and her friends took part in a competition to collect flowers from a garden. The diagram shows the number of flowers each of them collected. Who was first, second, third, and fourth. 
We can see that Susie collected the most flowers, twenty-three. So she was first. Nita was next with twenty flowers. That puts her in second place. Third would be Farida because she collected eighteen flowers. That leaves May in fourth place because she collected only fifteen flowers. Well, that brings us to the end of this lesson. Bye.